Recently someone wrote me about another person who had helped them. They wrote, This person was so concerned about my life. I mean, they really listened to what I had to say, and they seemed to want to know about me, and they really offered to help. Here's how that person closed their letter to me. This person was sent by God. Wow. What a testimony about a person who is living out this new way of living in Christ. Welcome, my friends, to this week's edition of the Time in the Word broadcast right here at Jackson First Baptist Church. My name is Keith, and I have the honor of serving as senior pastor here at Jackson First Baptist Church. Now, if you've been following us in these months, you know that our current broadcasts are focusing on the new way people are living as followers of Christ. This is our 10th broadcast in this particular series. Our focus today is once again Ephesians 4 and 32, the second part where Paul writes, Be tenderhearted to one another. Now here's the question. Are you familiar with the word tenderhearted? Maybe there's another word that you and I might use in our, in our modern day uh, vocabulary. Here's the word. Here's the word. Lean in. Compassion. Some of us who think about this word, don't exactly understand what that means. Now watch this. If you have compassion, it means this, that you view someone else's life in a way that you value them, and you believe that in Christ, they can add value, listen, in this entire world, so you give them Christ. Our Lord gave us an illustration of this in His ministry. In Mark 10, Jesus came, according to Scripture, to the city of Jericho. A blind man called out for help. Jesus called back to him and responded with a question. And he said this, in compassion, What do you want me to do for you? Here was the blind man's response. I want to see. In compassion, Jesus gave him his sight. Now here's what I believe. Lean in now. I believe a compassionate, spirit-led emotion will cut like a knife through the fog of bitterness and hurt in someone else's life. You see, it's impossible for me to add value to someone's life if I'm angry, if I'm frustrated, if I'm bitter and flesh-driven. However, if I'm walking with God in the Spirit, His compassion is following and flowing through me. I wonder, does anyone watching need compassion? I wonder, does anyone watching need a fresh touch of God in their life so that compassion will once again be a part of the spiritual DNA of your life? If so, here's what you should do. Ask the Lord to remove first your heart of stone and replace it with a new heart created by God through Christ Jesus. Then secondly, ask God to connect you to Himself so that His compassion will flow through your life. Now I know you want to evidence a new life, so it's time that you and I do our part with God. Be kind, be tenderhearted, show that compassion to others. Today, I ask, that if you'd like to know more about this, that you'd reach out to us at info at jacksonfbc.com. I also want to encourage you to come and be a part of a loving, compassionate, and kind church. We meet on Sundays at 9 o'clock and also at 11, Sunday evenings at 5, and then on Wednesday night our programs begin at 615. We'd love to be a part of you. Also, would love to share with you our 315 podcast. Encourage you to check that out. Also, online, all of our ministries at, at jacksonfbc.com. Now, share this video, and let's get out there in Christ and be kind to one unto another and show compassion.